This playoff best ball draft edition of the Sports Gambling Podcast is presented by WinBet. WinBet is now live in Arizona, Colorado, Indiana, Louisiana, Michigan, New Jersey, New York, Tennessee, and Virginia. From boosted same game parlays to live in game odds, WinBet has what you need to win. Sign up today, bet $100, and get a $100 free bet at sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash WinBet. That's sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash WYNNBET. State restrictions apply. We're also brought to you by our mini helmet contest. Contest. The SGP mini helmets are now in the store and we're giving away one for free. Just go to sports gambling podcast.com slash helmet. That's sports gambling podcast.com slash helmet and football bingo is back this time for the NFL Christmas day slate free to play. And every bingo gets a hundred dollar SGPN gift card exclusively on the SGPN app. Welcome everyone to the sports gambling podcast. I'm Sean second, the money green with my partner at picks Ryan real money Kramer. What's happening? Kramer? Dong. Oh boy. My favorite time of the year, Sean. Yeah. More drafts in the underdog <laughs> best ball streets. Yeah. I, I this, uh, we're going to be doing some underdog uh, fantasy playoff best ball drafts. If you're watching live youtube.com slash sports gambling podcast, you can draft with us. Um, Maybe. that's always fun. It's assuming they're, they're like limited size, right? How many? Six. So, uh, yeah, so there's a small chance you could get in there with us. Of course, they're so fun to play at home as well. Uh, if you haven't signed up underdog fantasy yet, underdogfantasy.com promo code SGPN, hundred percent deposit bonus up to $100. You can also get in on some of their props and stuff like that. Uh, these drafts are a ton of fun, but of course, before we get started, Oh yeah. Of course, WinBet. SportsGivenPodcast.com slash WinBet. Head over there, get the parlay wheel fired up. Bet big, win bigger with WinBet. Uh, love, love building your own bet, aka the same game parlay. Perfect way to just uh, sit around Christmas Eve, Christmas Day. Hit that WinBet app open. Fire away by signing up with WinBet. You're not only helping yourself, you're also helping the sports gambling podcast. Sports gambling podcast.com slash WinBet so they know we sent you. Offer subject to change terms and conditions at WinBet.com. Must be 21 or older and present in the state where play through WinBet is available. If you're somebody who knows a gambling problem, call 1 800 522 4700. Joining us on the line to talk playoff. Fantasy football best ball drafts. You know him from the fantasy football podcast, the SGPN fantasy football podcast, fellow fantasy football endurance athlete, mm. Mr. Andrew Robb. What's happening, Andrew? What's going on, fellas? Great time of year. Uh, NFL playoffs right around the corner, but we got ourselves some more best <laughs> ball drafts. That's my uh, specialty. And man, I can't wait to dive in here. Let's do it. Well, before we get started, yes. how, how is everyone doing in the underdog? Best ball mania three. Uh, of my four teams that made it, two were well. Okay, so one was qualifying until Tyler Higby caught that touchdown on Monday night, and then the other one was sitting in second place, only needed three points from fucking Robert Tunyon and didn't <sighs> qualify. So I'm officially out. Although uh, I think I ended up getting a decent, you know, chunk of change back from some of the, um, you know, whatever second and first in the opening round. So I'm, I'm done. RIP to my entries, Ryan, you have what one, one entry I'm, is, I'm is sitting, still alive. I, I definitely was unfortunate with some, but I have a Trevor Lawrence, uh, Trevor triple with a Tom Brady triple staying okay. alive. Tr Trevor still, he got me 18. Yeah, Evan that Ingram got me 15. Was I'm in first place right now. I gotta, I gotta overcome some stuff, but you know, C Mac, Waddle, there's some other studs on this team. So let's go, Andrew. You got any, uh, any best balls still surviving? 
I got one lone one with Trevor Lawrence and Lamar Jackson. Uh, I was really oh, hoping Lamar Jackson be able to pull it. it off this week, but it didn't work. It's funny that team advanced last week <laughs> and it has Kyle Pitts and Brevin Jordan as my tight end. So <laughs> I'm pretty much taking a big old goose egg this week at the tight end. But yeah, I got one left. Uh, I would have advanced three more if they had not called that Brian Robinson touchdown <laughs> back that those oh. bastards refs and uh, you know, just shameless plug here for the show, but uh. Uh, refs are terrorist shirts are available uh. yes. on the merch store i will have to get one so i, I could have had four in i did finish second in five of them and uh you know all of them were less than 15 points so i was very close to advancing a total of six but i got one left in the best ball mania so let's go well go- godspeed to you and I-, I was genuinely shocked when after that uh commander's game i saw someone ordered a uh, extra large, large, and then like extra small refs or terror shirt, essentially getting one for the whole family. And then I looked and saw the order name and it wasn't Andrew. I go, Oh my God, someone else must be a commander's fan immediately ordering uh, right after the game refs are terrorists. All right. So back to this uh, underdog, we're going to be doing the gauntlet $25 entry, $1 million in prizes up for grabs. Super fun format. Uh, Andrew, why don't you walk us through the format? If people miss the first one, kind of a reminder uh, lineup, ha- you know, and how it works. Sure. Yeah. So uh, your, your main lineup it's, it, so it's, uh, let's see, it's 10 total uh, players that you're going to pick uh, every week. You will play one quarterback, one running back, two of the wide receiver or tight end position, and then one flex as well with five on the bench. Obviously the, you know, the main thing here is you, you need to advance through each round. It's not totality points. Obviously the points reset every week. So you need to advance through each round. So round one, obviously if you're picking teams that are on a buy, you are taking a zero on those players. So you need to supplement with players that are going to get you points in round one. Obviously after round one, it doesn't really matter about that, but you know, that's kind of the big thing. And that's kind of what I've been working on when I've been doing these best ball drafts is if I'm going heavy Eagles, I, I think I've come to terms with If I'm taking heavy Eagles, then I want to supplement with some NFC players. If I'm taking heavy Bills and or Chiefs, you know, I want to kind of supplement with some AFC players as well. So, um, you know, it's it's definitely an interesting um, strategy to think about for round one and then, you know, beyond. Just shove it. Go Eagles and AFC, Sean. Play for the big. I mean, <laughs> well, it is true though. You got to get out of the first round. You got to get out of the first round. But I think ultimately, how you win is having you, the most points. Well, yeah, but I mean, ha- well, <laughs> not necessarily. To, to his point, it's not about having the most points because if you don't, it's true. If you don't get past the rounds, you. I mean, like if you had a bunch of Eagles and they have a buy that first round, you might end up with the most points. But if you didn't get out of the first round, it, uh, the goal is to have as many players in the Super Bowl, right? C- case in point, uh, a lot of people are rolling Trevor Lawrence in the best ball mania three right now, really solely because of how he did last week, right? It, if he turns into a DFS contest, so you, you really, it, it, you know, the, the ownership, I, I guess that's the interesting thing from the roster construction standpoint is how do you build differently? How do you build something like is having an onslaught NFC lineup more different than having trying to spread it across? I don't know. So far I've been spreading it across nicely. Yeah. Uh, it, and how, how important is it to be contrarian or how do you become contrarian in this kind of contest, Andrew? So, yeah, I mean, obviously being contrarian is, is, you're really going to be able to do that at the end of the drafts, you know, taking, yeah. um, you know, chargers, obviously the chargers are, are probably going to make it. And, and that's a really late stack that I've been uh, targeting. Same thing with, uh, you know, uh, if, if you want to say the the Jags are going to make it, you know, I, I doubt there's a whole lot of people taking a Jag stack and, and let's say they, they only win one game. They advance after, you know, week one, that's still two rounds of points that you're going to get from them. And you're getting that all late in the draft. So I, I think the contrarian plays are taking, you know, like the lions as well is, is a team that I've kind of been Ooh. thinking about targeting here, you know, moving forward, because looking at the schedules, you know, the giants and Washington both have tough matchups this week. Uh, the Seahawks are, are definitely not beating the chiefs. Like the lions can beat the Panthers. That would put them into the seventh slot if uh, the Giants and Commanders both lose. So just, you know, thinking about who in the next couple of weeks can make a playoff push and don't count out the Packers either, man. The Packers, they're, they're, their schedule's not too, too difficult. I think that they can get past the Dolphins this week with the full complement of receivers. So, you know, just, just I think that that's the most contrarian thing that, that you can do is just kind of target some of those teams that haven't quite made it in yet, but w- but have a good chance of making it in at the end of the draft. 
I like that. I mean, especially if you throw in a stack towards the end, no one's no one's like like my Brock Purdy shares. Come on. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I'm looking at like ideal roster construction, probably one or two quarterbacks, two to four running backs, and then four to six receiver tight ends. Two, three, ends. five. Yeah. Two, two, two three, three, five is how, is how okay. you want to get across the board. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how you do it with one quarterback. You just take uh, a guy like Patrick Mahomes. That hope he doesn't have the buy and hope he doesn't have the, the buy. Yeah. So I guess there is there that, that is a decent strategy for one. I think they call that hyper fragile. <laughs> yeah, and, and I have seen people talking Nerd! about um <laughs> I I've seen people talking about different strategies and you know a lot of people uh believe that you obviously want to try to get the the Super Bowl matchup. I've obviously that's hitting the nuts on that is is you know optimal, but I I've also thought about like if you take an onslaught of NFC players, you know, two teams and one of those make it to the you know uh to the Super Bowl, is that enough if you have a majority of those players to supplement for not having the AFC teams same thing vice versa for the AFC side so I mean do you guys have any thoughts on that because like yeah. I've seen people say that that's a terrible strategy and I've also you know seen people say that that could potentially work so it probably is like having six or six running backs where you're going to see a higher advance rate but you might not have the ceiling maybe the way to to dink it in is is build in some bringbacks from the AFC so you can have some of that correlation in the Super Bowl yeah I don't know should we just get started, Sean? Let's do it. Let's get started, Ryan. Go All check. Right. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna poke my head in. I think everyone's <laughs> seeing this. Yes, I, 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 almost certainly going to be wasting some uh, some money here. Oh, why is it taking so long? Fetching your draft. Oh no. Oh no. Oh what? I'm already in one. Gosh darn it. All yeah, right. I, I just got into one, and there's five more to start. So uh, okay, you guys should can, I hit can hop in now if you want. Yeah, get back. I'm going to I'm going to waste that one. Try to do two traps at the same time. <laughs> Things I sacrifice for this show. Hashtag Dejans only. All right, I'm in with three two more to start, two more to start. Yeah, Kramer. there are there are two more open spots if you're watching live youtubecom podcast. Get in there. All right, we're in there now. Let, so now I'm I'm pulling up my phone so I can mm. draft two at the same time. <laughs> Brian the this true maniac. The these are things that, that you can do when you are a best ball endurance athlete. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm just trying to find, I, I still, uh, and I, I'm playing it on the listener that sent in. It may have been Jason Swoboda. If, if not, I apologize, but he, he was uh, in his kitchen, moving something and he threw, <laughs> he threw out his back and then he was lying on his kitchen floor waiting for his wife to get home. He had his phone and he's like, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to fire up a best ball draft yeah. while I'm lying here on the kitchen floor. What else? Are you I thought do? it was Jason. If it wasn't uh, apologies, but regardless, Jason go birds. How do we not have this filled up already? Yeah. There's, there's one well, more spot one waiting more for one person. For those wondering, I have the fifth pick in this other draft. No. Oh, okay. Almost certainly going to be confusing. shout out to uh like Indiana Jones in the YouTube chat as well. Uh, Indiana with an all time gift for the studio of Kramer and I head on a military. I don't even know who the, the what some sort of French generals around. Do we ever figure out where the original comes from? Uh, I mean, uh, it, it has vibes of like what mid, like late 17th, 1700s, like almost kind of like, um, yeah. Who's the, uh, uh Napoleon almost kind of oh. like a Napoleon esque painting. It is funny because we have them framed in our office, and occasionally I'll take a Zoom call with the painting of myself <laughs> in military garb behind <laughs> and kind of forget about it. It's kind of a weird thing to put out there, but uh, very funny and uh, really ties the uh, the office I, together. I've done the same thing. Yeah, it's it's a great conver it's a great it's conversation a starter. That's what you're looking for in great art, Ryan. And uh, and yeah, uh, as far as great art, we got the mini helmet contest going again. Free to enter. Can win one of those sweet, sweet mini helmets, sports gambling podcast.com slash helmet. They are alive and active in the uh, merch store. So highly recommend um, sports gambling podcast.com slash helmet for the free giveaway or also legal in all 50 states. Yes. And internationally. <laughs> well, I'm not 100% sure we ship internationally. Uh, you'll have to look into that. But uh, yeah. I'm very surprised that this hasn't filled up. Only one more to start. Yeah. What are you doing? Come on.
All right. While we're waiting, shout out to Dave. That's right. Dave is the financial app to help you out in a pinch. Maybe you need a couple extra bucks. Maybe your, uh, you know, son desperately wants a SGP mini helmet for Christmas. You need a couple extra bucks. Uh, Dave is a banking app that could help you get up to $500 instantly with extra cash with Dave. There's no interest late fees or credit checks. Again, very easy to get your cash, get it right away. Uh, makes, makes it easier to tackle those expenses. Millions of people have already downloaded the Dave app to get the financial relief they need with extra cash. Download the Dave app from the app store right now. Go to dave.com slash SGPN sign up for an extra cash account and get up to $500 instantly for terms and conditions. Go to dave.com slash legal. Instant transfer fees apply. Banking services provided by Evolve Bank and Trust member FDIC. All right. We are locked and loaded. We are in the draft. Uh, Kramer, number two pick. Andrew, number three. I'm sitting at the five spot. Oh, we got Team Ramrod in there as well. I think that is uh, Indiana himself. Yep. Yes, it is. And then um, I'm not reckoning the other, recognizing the other ones. But if you guys are. Uh, doing the draft with us, feel free to toss it in the chat. And again, uh, you can see the draft board live under uh, youtube.com slash sports gambling podcast. All right. What do we got here? What are you doing Kramer? I'm the number two pick, which means I'm supposed to take a, let's see. Patrick Mahomes. Oh, Mahomes went first. And so the sec and it's getting even weirder now with um well the bills aren't locked up for that number one spot it's way more uh up for grabs than in the NFC but either way i mean if he, if he, they don't get the first seed that's great no i know that's what i'm saying uh so goes a chalk uh, mahomes and then kramer drafts allen uh andrew drafts jalen hurts rare breed untamed i'm one away my other team so far, Chase Jefferson and Tyree Kill. Sounds <laughs> sexy. Wow, Stefan Diggs. How do I not draft Christian McCaffrey? I mean, I gotta draft him, right? Yeah, I took Christian McCaffrey again. I mean, that San Francisco team is there's a reason I'm not gonna be rocking Proc Hard Purdy shirts anytime soon, because I think mm. that San Francisco team could be making a run in the NFC. Uh that defense is good, and again, Christian McCaffrey with no Debo. Insane amount of volume. Travis Kelsey, AJ Brown goes. Now, do I do I draft a quarterback here like Joe Burrow, or do I get Jamar Chase? What do I do, Kramer? I mean, yeah, you're not going to be able to stack them, so I think you would just go top available player. Justin Jefferson. Well, they're in. Yeah, I'm doing it. Yeah, Justin Jefferson. I mean, come on, they get at least. Uh, they locked up the NFC North, so you get at least one home game in that dome with Justin Jefferson. Imagine if it's like Vikings, uh, Packers, Vikings, Packers, Vikings, Vikings Lions. Lions. So I don't have a quarterback yet. I do have Christian McCaffrey and Justin Jefferson. Andrew's on the clock. He goes Miles Sanders. Mm. Building a little uh, Philly, uh, Philly team. Congrats. <laughs> yeah, thanks. I think that again, you know, I, I know I just I touched on this, but there's enough at the end of the draft to supplement, you know, with good teams that that'll uh, be playing week one to to be able to advance. So that's what I'm going to be shooting for. Kramer goes Joe Burrow. I'm trying something. Two quarterbacks done. Okay. Yeah, I got no quarterbacks right now. I'm a little nervous. I'm fading Patrick Mahomes basically. All right. CD so, lamb, Tony Pollard, go Kramer. You're back on the clock. Yeah. We're, I mean, I think, I think we have to, we have to lock up probably um, start getting some stacks. T Higgins goes. Okay. So you got a little uh, now normally I would have taken Tyree kill there, mm. but I'm, I'm, I'm just stacking. Wow. Andrew's securing the entire Eagles offense with uh, Devonta Smith there. That's a nice pull. Yeah, you know, and and I I think people have to realize that sometimes these teams are just going to pull dead immediately. You know, the, I've I've already realized that I have some teams that if they don't make it past week one, you know, it's it's just obviously you know I'm just drafting teams that that are going to be dead week one potentially. Um, but if they make it through, then you know they're they're going to be you talking uh, about your pretty tough to beat. So. You're talking about your commanders lineups. Oh wow! <laughs> hey, hey, they can still make it. You know, I I know the refs are against them, but that's all oh, right, man. Wow. Underdog. 
you know, what do they say? Uh, hungry, um, hungry dogs run faster. Is, is that what it is, Sean? <laughs> yes, exactly. It's very true. <laughs> it does seem like Debo is out for the rest of the year, though. I'm I'm scared to draft Debo. It doesn't reflect his ADP, but uh, I'm not touching him. No. So Juju goes. I took Tyree Kill. Juju goes. Uh, Joe Mixon goes. I took George Kittle. Kind of rounding out the San Francisco offense. I mean, I, I was noticing Austin oh, Eckler shit. goes. Uh, he le- uh, did not make the Pro Bowl. Who didn't? Austin Eckler. Really? All, all those touchdowns. Most touchdowns in the league over the last two years. That's crazy. Yeah. Nick Chubb got in probably though. Yeah, I don't know. It's a fan contest, Sean. You know that. Well, no. Uh, oh, you. Sh- uh, don't make me make a shirt that says "fuck Andrew." No, uh, Andrew <laughs> Snakes Gabe Davis from Ryan. Yeah, I'm gonna continue to play my AFC game. Jerick McKinnon. A little oh, exposure love to him. the Bengals, Bills, and Chiefs. We're gonna test out your theory, Andrew. If it's if it's negative EV to load up on AFC teams. Dak yeah, I mean, goes. obviously, if you know if you can get the right players. That that advance to the Super Bowl, um, and those players hit, you know, you're going to be fine. So, um, I, I do think it's a it's a halfway decent strategy. Obviously, again, the the optimal is to get the most players in the Super Bowl that that you can on both sides. But you know, obviously, playoffs are um, you know an, an interesting time. So you you just never know who's going to advance. So I think it's completely fine to to just load up on one conference. They're a fickle bitch, is what he's trying to say. <laughs> yes. Kramer, you're on the clock. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Did oh, I just man. get drafted? Oh, Debo. <laughs> Debo. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Thanks for letting me know, Sean. I did. Appreciate it. <laughs> One second's left. Classic teamwork. Dallas Goddard <laughs> goes to uh, Andrew Robb. Devin Singletary. Woo-hoo. Now my team's different. I got uh, Jalen Waddle and Tyree Kill. Love that. No, I'm uh, glad you're happy. <laughs> oh, Kirk Cousins goes. Now we're doing a second draft. You stole my uh you stole my stack. No, I'm not. I'm I'm so sad for you. <laughs> right. I as oh, soon as oh, I know that I said Whoa something, is me. I'm drafting too, a fuck it. Oh, man, you, Sean, you just <laughs> if if this Sean could go back and talk to the Sean before the season, <laughs> he would smack this Sean. I well, mean, I mean, on, I have on. I have Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddle. I need some quarterback that's gonna be playing in the first round. <sighs> All right, I'm almost up. Reminding myself. Justin Herbert goes. Lamar Jackson goes to uh, Andrew Robb. Well, see now I gotta I gotta somewhat protect myself. Brandon Ayuk. This is my my bring back. Debo and Brandon Ayuk. Maybe he comes back for the Super Bowl. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Keenan Allen off the board. Mike Williams still available. I don't. I might take Mike Williams over Keenan Allen. Uh, Saquon just went. Kramer, what are you looking to do here? You are on the clock, by the way. Oh, thank you for letting me know. I, I filled up my queue this time. Okay. Let's, Isaiah let's, McKenzie. Let's stack up with Josh Allen. Mark Andrews. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, the running back position is the position that's interesting to me in this stuff. So I, I do feel like I find myself punting on it most most times. I mean you only need to start one, right? Is that it, Andrew? Yeah. Only one? Correct. Yep. Mm. Uh someone stole my Brock Purdy, so I'll do it. I'll take a second running back, Derek Henry. Maybe I'm maybe I'm a little crazy mm. there. I think you're a little crazy, but that's all right. All right, MVS goes. Son of a bitch, Jared Cook. That would have been a nice ta- uh, stack with Josh Allen. James Cook. Sorry, what did I say? Jared Cook. Jared, Jared Cook. Not <laughs> a good stack with Josh Allen. Just gonna go Mike Williams here. Just best available BPA. Let's see correlation. Uh, <clears throat> I have two quarterbacks. One only one running back. See, that's that's probably not right. Maybe it is. Is Malik Willis worth drafting? Probably not. <laughs> Stop it. Jimmy Garoppolo's in here. Now that's how you get different. Draft Jimmy Garoppolo. Dawson Knox goes. Oh, it's gross. It's so gross. I mean, I, I I'm still I'm just gonna stick to correlation. I'm curious who, yeah, that's that's not a horrible pick. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna stick to. Uh, for, hey for Kramer, it. you got to scroll down on the. Uh, on oh, the I'm draft sorry. Board. Dawson Knox goes. Dobbins goes. Kramer selects Tyler Boyd, Michael Gallup, McKeel Hardman, or McCole Hardman, and uh, Kramer's back on the clock here. Oh, where's? Yes, you have 50. I see, I see Knox got taken. People are really, really screwing me over. Ooh, Hayden Hurst. Uh, Hayden Hurst or P Ryan was the decision there. Hawkinson goes to Andrew Robb. Yeah, I got to start supplementing some uh, some players who are going to play week one here. Yeah, running back is very. Um, I don't know what to think about running back. Trevor Lawrence goes. Now, what do I do? I, I'm looking to add to my Minnesota stack. Do I go Thielen or KJ Osborne? Uh, Osborne, right? But I think Osborne has the higher upside, but uh, I, I obviously, you know, I'm not an Adam Thielen guy, but he uh, he does seem to garnish more targets. So depending on which way you want to go. Yeah, I'll go. I'll go KJ Osborne. Younger, more athletic. Dick Olson play. <laughs> yeah, on the right side of 30. Uh, team Ramrods on Indiana Jones sitting here. Why I, is Dawson Knox still on the board? Is this just heavily influenced by our cowboy hate? You mean Dalton Schultz? Dalton Sorry, Schultz. what did I say? Dawson Knox. I'm just Dawson still Knox. still missing <laughs> missing on the guy that I didn't get. Yeah, Dalton Schultz. Why is he not taken yet? Because people just don't like the cow. Oh, spoke well, it into, well, a, into there existence. There you go. <laughs> oh man. Dalton Last round. Schultz goes. Last round. Well, I guess I need a second running back. Mm. So you're only drafting ten guys, right? Yeah. Yep. Oh, P Ryan goes. There, someone's clearly listening. This is bullshit. Do I draft? He a, is listening. Do I draft a second quarterback or do I draft Adam Thielen? I only have two right now. Oh, I mean, do you have any stacks there? Uh, I mean, if if there's really no stack, I don't see the point in taking the quarterback. Yeah. Yeah. Agree. Adam Thielen. Wow. So I just basically got Miami and Minnesota stuff. And, uh, cool. <laughs> oh, right. Is that what you thought you were going to have coming out? No, but uh, you know, I just follow the end of San Francisco. I got Christian McCaffrey, George Kittle. Then I got KJ Osborne, Adam Thielen, Justin Jefferson, um, Tua, and then Tua, Tua and Tyreek and Waddle is a pretty fun one. Cause there's a world where <laughs> I love how much you've invested in this Miami team <laughs> after all the, the slander hey, and hatred. I'm, I'm open to change, Ryan. If I can change, you can change. Yeah. Andrew last pick. What are you doing here? Well, oh man, I'm trying to decide if I want to take a running back or a wide receiver. I do like Mike Evans there. Obviously, you know, I believe that they are going to make it. Um, <sighs> shit. Yeah. There's you know what? I, I need to, I need to make sure I get some points here. So I did want to take Kenny Gainwell to, uh, to add with uh, Miles Sanders there, but you know what? I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna. I mean, I think you just you're right. There there is as much as I'd like to take a buck because they're gonna be there. I'll swing a little higher. Give me Travis Etienne. I mean, at this point, aren't they the favorites to win that division? Yeah, I would say so. All right, so I'll I'll, I'll uh yeah, let's just rattle off our drafts. I got Tua. Christian McCaffrey, Derrick Henry, then Justin Jefferson, Tyreek Hill, George Kittle, Jalen Waddle, Mike Williams, KJ Osborne, Adam Thielen. Mm, okay. I have uh Mr. Josh Allen, Joe Burrow, T. Higgins, Jerick McKinnon, uh Debo, which was fucking Sean. Brandon Ayuk, Isaiah McKenzie, Tyler Boyd, Hayden Hurst, and Travis Etienne. What do you got, Andrew? I got Jalen Hurts, Lamar Jackson, Miles Sanders, J.K. Dobbins, Devontae Smith, Gabe Davis, Dallas Goddard, Mark Andrews, T.J. Hawkinson, Mike Evans. I'm now realizing I took three tight ends. That's probably not optimal, <laughs> but uh, you know, interesting strategy. Dare to be different. Dare to be different. All right, uh, let's go with. You want to just do another one? Yeah, let's run it back. Yeah. These are fun. Underdogfantasy.com promo code SGPN. All right, oh so we're God. doing another gauntlet one. Yeah, hold on, I gotta figure this shit out. Fucking All right, a million things going on. It's a nice island picture you got there. Oh, thank you. That's uh, <laughs> that's Mammoth, uh, California. 
beautiful. Wait, what? Or, sorry, Catalina. Catalina I'm out of it today. What the fuck? Uh, yeah, beautiful Catalina Island. Nice. What do you uh, What do you got going on the uh, fantasy football uh, podcast? What's what What can people check out over there, Andrew? Yeah, so obviously, uh, you know, Justin Bruni and I uh, always do the Sunday night recap. This week, it'll be coming out on Monday night due to Christmas. Um, so stay tuned to that. I will be bringing out one of the underdog battle royale articles next week for, um, you know, for next week's. What is that? Week seventeen, then. Um, yeah, so I'll be doing week seventeen's underdog battle royale. Uh, you know, make sure to check that out. If you are going heavy on battle Royale, um, you know, we put in there some, some good values at ADP, uh, you know, great stack potentials, good, good games to go after. Um, you know, we obviously look at the Vegas lines and see which games and which teams they believe are going to score a bunch of points. So, you know, we throw that in there. So uh, if you, if you just want to take a quick five to eight minute read on an article before you dive in, you know, d definitely make sure you check those out. We bring those out every week. Emerson and I try to, um, you know, switch up every week. So, uh, you know, definitely look for that. And then, I don't know. I mean, there, there's a lot of secrecy going on in the old fantasy football community here for SGPN right now on, on rebranding and, um, you, you know, doing different things. So, so stay tuned, uh, you know, make sure you guys check out sports podcast.com, go to the fantasy football tab and, uh, you know, take a look at everything we got coming out. I mean, good Lord. There's a lot of shit on there. I like <laughs> that. All right. Should I poke my head in? Yep. Yes. God help me if I have to <laughs> waste money on underdog drafts <laughs> watch those are going to be the, the auto drafts are going to be your best ones right <laughs> hold on there, there's only one spot left okay give it a second we'll let that guy fill so what are we thinking of andrew commanders i i, I mm. assume you're doing all the playoff simulations do you do they get in if they do what's what's their path into the playoffs so obviously they control their own destiny because all they got to do is win out and, and, you know, and they're in. So it's a, it's a tough road. You know, they got the Niners, the Browns, and then the Cowboys. So my hopes is that Brock Purdy has a down week this week. They can take it to the Niners and squeak out a victory there. I'm not too concerned overall about Deshaun Watson. I mean, this, this uh, defensive line for Washington, um, you know, is, is a top unit. So I think that they may, um, make Deshaun look like a little bitch. Um, you know, so I'm, I'm, I'm hoping there. And then honestly, I hope the Cowboys kind of rest their starters. You know, I, I do think that they can beat the Cowboys, even if they do start their starters, but um, I'm really hoping that they sit their starters week 18. And um, you know, how many years ago was that where the ultimate um, clash between you two on the podcast oh, yeah. happened where the Eagles played Nate Sudfeld? <laughs> uh, yeah, to get a look hoping at that Sudfeld. scenario. Don't bring it up. Sean's embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. It was a, we it had wasn't to a proud see what moment we had. for Sean. We had to see what we had with Nate Sudfeld. He read the newsletter oh, without applying context and it got weird. All right. I'm going to stick my head back in the cow's asshole. Still looks like the, the one that was going before isn't been filled. How do you, how can you see that? You like, you went in? Uh, no, I thought you just clicked in on it. And oh, I just went, I'm going to try again. I'm just itching to get a, another auto draft team. <laughs> Yeah, why don't you just let this auto draft run? There's two spots. Okay, let's hop in, Andrew. Okay. Oh wait, only one. Is that one of you? Yep. Yep. Uh, yep. I just got in. One more. Sean. Yep. All right, Sean? I'm in. All right. We're locked All and ready right. to go. Okay, I'm trying to get a. I, I wasn't stoked about starting with Christian McCaffrey, but maybe that's where I end up again, as I have the number five pick. Andrew has the number one pick. Kramer, uh, you have the number six pick. Ah, um, this is good. This is good. Different, is it different diversity? I'm worried I'm going to be stuck with Christian McCaffrey again, which I don't mind. But how many how many Christian McCaffrey teams do you need? I think I'm going to go Josh Allen here uh, when this starts. I I have a decent amount of Patrick Mahomes exposure already. Um, but I do think that the chiefs can overtake that, that one spot. They have a much easier rest of the season schedule than Buffalo does. So Buffalo might slip up. If they slip up once chiefs are going to overtake that, I believe. And, um, uh, you know, obviously Donna bills mafia, Adam Pelletier wouldn't like that, but, uh, you know, <laughs> his, his bills haven't won me any money in the last like two or three weeks. So it's all right. If they lose, that's fine. All right. What do, what do I do this time, Sean? I, I don't like that you have to have a top three pick to get one of those quarterbacks. Are you even drafting Jalen Hurts at this point? Are we concerned about the broken collarbone rumors? He could be out for the season. <laughs> those are rumors that you started, right? I know that doesn't matter. Like I reported, uh, I broke the news <laughs> that he would not be starting on Saturday. 
guy still refused to <laughs> give me credit for it. Wow. He's pulling that out of your ass. I go, no, I'm telling you, he's not going to start. Josh Allen off the board, as predicted by Andrew Rob, the Andrew Rob pick. Uh, Patrick Mahomes goes. I'm assuming Chris, uh, Jalen Hurts isn't going to be there for me. Maybe we won't even get uh, Christian McCaffrey. Christian McCaffrey goes. So do I get Jalen Hurts? Number four pick is sitting right there. No, in front of I've me. never seen. I've never seen the quarterback fall. No, mm -hmm. I, th I think with the injury stuff, maybe Jalen Hurts goes. So do I take Joe Burrow, or do I start? Hmm. Like AJ Brown here. You could take the number one overall fantasy player for next year, Travis Kelsey. Yeah, I'll take. That. I mean, you could take Chase and Burrow. You know, that's a unless Kramer fucks you, you you'll be able to take that. Kramer might. Fuck I'll take you. Jamar Chase. Kramer back to back picks. What are you looking at here? Uh, I mean, again, I'm just I'm not I'm not overthinking it. I'm just gonna take value. Travis Kelsey. And Stefan Diggs. All right. So I get my Joe Burrow, Jamar Chase stack like that. I would have done that if you didn't. <clears throat> By the way, like I would have done the same thing. Yeah. AJ Brown off the board. Justin Jefferson goes. Andrew's coming up here in a second. Sitting on Josh Allen. I assume you're looking to get uh wait, Stefan Diggs already gone to Kramer. Yeah, Diggs never gets back. CD Lamb. So now what are you doing? Are you, are you stacking a Bills receiver? I guess it, Well, I, guess I mean kind of I, I don't really want to I don't really want to take Gabe Davis yet. He he'd be the next one up, but you know, that's kind of going too far down the ADP poll. So, just trying to figure out how I want to play play this cuz you know, the Bills that technically could still have the one seed. Um You know, I'll, I'll take Tyreek Hill and uh come back around and grab uh, I feel like I have to do a better job with running back this time. Yeah, do you think you can get out of round one without um, starting a running back, Andrew? Probably. Man, I mean, you could, but you would. I mean, you would need great receiver play at that point. Um, you know what? Let's. I'm gonna take Sanders here again. Yeah. Seems like definitely if you you want to. What do we, what do we think about Joe Mixon moving forward? It seems like kind of P Ryan is really eating into his workload and almost playing better. Yeah, I, I mean I think their their slip up last year, you know, not having Joe Mixon on that crucial third down really really shook them a little bit. So I, I expect Joe Mixon to have a a heavy workload in the playoffs. I mean, really, if they're going to make it far, it's going to be Joe Mixon that they have to have in there over P Ryan. I mean, P Ryan's a good compliment piece, but if they, if they're going to make any sort of run, they need to make sure that they're getting Joe Mixon heavily free. involved. For your team, though, I think T. Higgins is the better pick here. Yeah, correct. But I mean, yep. that's uh, I don't want to influence your. No, I was gonna get you know the the Chase Higgins stack is pretty awesome with Joe Burrow coming, coming at you, Kramer. You got back to back picks. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do something similar that I again I'm I'm leaning in um, leaning in heavily to the AFC. And I'm gonna take. I'll let you have Mixon if you uh, want him. Mm, yep. See what that is? That's uh, called teamwork. This is great. <laughs> I got the Barrow, Mixon, Chase, Higgins. Now I just gotta find an NFC team to ride. See when I've yeah when I've done this. Th I mean it, it again. You probably don't want him, but Brock Purdy slots in nicely. The slot. How's the slot? I, I mean, you probably don't need him as a quarterback, but like from a secondary stack, you know to the. Kittle's still on the board. Ayuk's still on the board. There's opportunity. You, you could take the, the the Jared Goff and the Lions onslaught the last three picks. Take him, Swift, and uh, the, the Sun God. I'm, mm. I I I feel like I don't want to bet on the Lions making the playoffs. Andrew Rob, much you're rather up. take the uh, the Packers. Mm. I'm gonna take Devin Singletary here to pair nice. with my Josh Allen. You know what? Let's take uh, let's take Goddard. Go with uh, Sanders there again. Ooh, mm. nice team stack. Yeah, I might look to some NFC stuff here. Some, I mean, I guess I need NFC stuff. Balance it out a little bit. 
Sean, are you are you very certain that Jalen Hurts is going to come back and play? We, we, we shouldn't be grabbing Gardner Minshew. No, hmm. no. <laughs> Sean is overly confident. Uh, you know, I mean, you saw he he had that sweet forty yard bomb to AJ Brown after the play happened. Okay, that's called uh, it's, that's what happens when you get hurt in the moment. You have you have the uh, you're on the clock, Sean. Thank you. See what I did there? Yep, George Kittle. Good wow. call. Right. I do think Minshew can have a good game this week. I mean, I don't know if you guys saw him getting on the plane, but he looked like pure sex. He looked like he just came out <laughs> of Top Gun. I mean, he had a sweet bomber jacket on. He's he one of those guys who will get <laughs> penetration. He, he had the dad shoes 3000 on those like white Nikes with just the regular like Levi jeans. Like he's just, he just looks l like pure sex. I mean, I, I just, I, I don't know how this man doesn't play well this week. Oh, Ryan. What? You just destroyed my Ayuk Brock. I don't Purdy. have a quarterback yet. What do you want me to do? <laughs> oh, oh man, it's really, really bums me out. Yeah, I'll take Saquon. <laughs> Deep run for I, I do have to build an uh, Giants onslaught just in case. Justin Herbert goes. Debo Samuel goes. I want no part of Debo. Well, now that I accidentally drafted him, I'm interested in Debo. I mean, I I don't know if he plays again. I think if they get for far enough, he could be dusted off. Ugh, Brock, Brock Purdy's my only quarterback. That is a little disgusting. <laughs> That's a little dangerous, no? Kenny Gainwell. I'm trying to think of some more good NFC guys here. Mmm, man. You know what? Let's do this. These drafts are getting sharper. Uh, Keenan Allen goes. Andrew Rob takes Ke takes Keenan Allen. Isaiah yeah, Pacheco I'm, goes. I'm going to completely disregard ADP here, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go for the stack, the old uh, Jared Goff stack here. I love your optimism. Hey, again, dare to be different, right? I mean, you you got to win these things. All you know, being contrarian a little bit, because obviously you see like ADP is not going to change a, a shit ton over the next couple of weeks. So, I mean, a lot of these teams can end up looking the same. So got to be a little different every now and again. And uh, you just can't do that if you, if you're a slave to the ADP. So it's almost certain the bucks will be playing the Cowboys week one, right? It does mm -hmm. feel like that okay. could be loading up. Ah, someone's got four running backs on their team. Interesting strategy. And you can only play one. Why would you take four? Well, flex. Oh, that's right. You only have to play one. Mike Williams goes. Uh, I'm going to take Mike Evans. I don't really have any like NFC stacks. I'm just going to take some NFC darts because my stack got blown up. James Cook goes to Kramer. Interesting. Andrew, do I need Tyler Boyd or do I have enough? I got Joe Burrow, Joe Mixon, Jamar Chase, T Higgins. Am I getting any extra value with Tyler Boyd or is that is that too heavy? I mean, him? you know, the school of thought is if they make the if they make it to the Super Bowl, you know, obviously you want as many bullets in the chamber as you can. So I, I don't think it's a bad strategy to go Boyd. You're not really going super far off of ADP either. So, I mean, honestly, yeah. I mean, I mean, what else would you consider doing here? Yeah, I'm just going to go Boyd. No, you got to take Boyd. <clears throat> That's delicious. Yeah, I like this team. <clears throat> I like how uh, Andrew, the revenge I got on Andrew, he drafted Josh Allen, and I think I drafted everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, you, oh, you got Singletary. You got Singletary. Right. Mostert goes. Kramer got Isaiah McKenzie, James Cook. I got Tyler Boyd. Yeah, I feel like I need to do a couple of these where I just don't. I think I think I think the move might be just to take the quarterbacks at the end. Cole Beasley? When are we taking Cole Beasley? It's it's funny that that you you say that I was considering taking Cole Beasley. I just I I, I don't know. He, you know, Josh Allen can just feed anybody in that offense. So I I I think I I don't know if Isaiah McKenzie or Cole <laughs> Beasley can have a week where they dominate, right? Like they They'll get some targets, but I don't think there's going to be domination there. So yeah, and, and um, Dawson Knox still on the board. So yeah, that, 
that's who I'm taking now. And then we are going to scroll down here. And uh, before this gets taken away from me, Jared Goff sucks island. Woo! Look out. People are uh, requesting a rename to Zach Wilson sucks island. Really? <laughs> Which I, I see well, that feels, feels short sighted. <laughs> Jared Goff has had a long track record of sucking. Really? Before he proven. got an island named yeah. after him. Zach Wilson doesn't deserve an island. I would go as far to say that. Hmm. Like maybe he's got a shed on Jared Goff sucks island. Oh, I was looking at Lamar, naked Lamar was just really looking delicious. Oh, J.K. Dobbins goes Kramer, your boy. I was gonna do Lamar J.K. My last little stack there. Rashad White, am I crazy? No, I think honestly he's gonna be better than than playoff Lenny. I mean it's it, it's Rashad. I mean he over the last couple of weeks he's had more of a target share. Um, obviously he's their third down guy that you know that they trust. So yeah, I I would much rather take White over. Leonard Fournette. Sean, you're on the board. I already took Rashad White. Hmm. I'm on the board. All right, let's uh let's finish up. Let's just take a take a little little just in case. Need a second quarterback. Do you? Who's your first quarterback? I'm I'm gonna end up with a lot of this, I can tell. And I'm gonna stack them with ETN again. All right, Andrew. Do I do I uh, take Tom Brady to pair with Mike Evans and Rashad White, or do I just go with like a random? Do you Quez have a second Watkins? quarterback? No. Oh, I love that pick. Yeah, I, say, I I would take Brady, especially. I mean, you know, imagine if the Bucks make make the yeah. Super Bowl with the Bengals. I mean, you'll you'll be sitting pretty. So, all right, to do's for me: build more mm -hmm. Tom Brady stack lineup since they will be facing it's the Cowboys. It's a baby fucking wheel, man. Week one, so we're gonna have to look because you can you can legit stack the entire team at the end of the draft. You yeah. could have got Evans, Godwin, White, Brady. Well, I did have Godwin in my queue. I got Snake, but you're right. I maybe drafted him a little earlier. No, if had you taken him in the eighth round instead of Boyd, you could have gotten all four. Oh, you're right. Yeah. I like my team. So I got Joe Burrow, Tom Brady, Joe Mixon, Saquon Barkley, Rashad White, Jamar Chase, T. Higgins, George Kittle, Mike Evans, Tyler Boyd. Nice. All what right. What do you got, Kramer? Uh well, this this team, little gross. Travis Kelsey, Steph Diggs, Gabe Davis, Jarek McKinnon, Brandon Ayuk, Brock Purdy, stack one. James Cook, Isaiah McKenzie, Trevor Lawrence, and tr Travis Etienne. Trevor and Travis. That's the name of the show. Sounds like a country band. Trevor and Travis coming to the Ag Center. Get your tickets <laughs> now. <laughs> Andrew, what do you uh what do you, what do you got? What's your team? Rattle it off. All right. So again, dare to be different. Uh Josh Allen, Jared Goff, Miles Sanders, Devin Singletary, DeAndre Swift, Tyreek Hill, Dallas Goddard, Keenan Allen, Amron St. Brown, Dawson Knox. It's fun. These are great. Uh, we're going to be doing more of these underdogfantasy.com promo code SGPN and ton of articles, not only on playoff best ball, but uh, battle Royale battle Royale is like the weekly best ball. Andrew covers on the podcast and over at sports gambling podcast.com. Make sure you follow Andrew on Twitter at a Rob 23. Make sure you follow Kramer on Instagram Kramer centric Ooh. and uh, Hey, get in those, uh, the, the free completely free. Uh, we got your um, bingo, bingo card, bingo, hundred dollar gift card for every bingo, and you get a bunch of player props for the Christmas Day slate, and the mini helmet. All you gotta do is screenshot a review, submit it for a chance to win a free SGP mini helmet. Thank you for participating in the Sports Gambling Podcast. For the Sports Gambling Podcast, I'm Sean Stagging the Money Green, and he is Ryan. Ah, uh, well, best of luck to Andrew and his Commanders. Kramer, <laughs> let it ride.